Hello people, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to uh, win Sky Wars for duos and solos. First tip a, is to look at now. all the all the levels in the lobby. I think I heard it from somewhere, but most of the tryhards they just stay at spawn and they don't move much, and all the all the other players just move around a lot. So I guess you can. You can use that to tell their level of expertise. Make sure to locate all the ores. See which ones you want to go for. Brief little intermission here. Sometimes you also want to mine the gold ores as well because it can drop snowballs, cobwebs, golden apples, boom boxes, and blocks. These are really useful items that will give you an advantage later in the game. Go for the health ones first because I don't know. Maybe you want to rush mid. You want to get the health ones first. I like the safe bridge because um, I'm on the newest version and MJ bridge is kind of broke. I didn't mind that for no reason. Because you can look around to see if anyone wants to shoot you off instead of just looking straight down, which is pretty dangerous. By the way, pearls don't kill you. They can't kill you. They just leave you at half a heart, so you can pearl as much as you want. Oh, uh, <laughs> Choose maps that have a big spawn area. Does not have like, obstacles, like something like this. It's pretty flat. It's a big spawn area. It's a great map for you know duos um get all the yeah, get all the ender chests if you're going to rush mid make sure to take all the other loot as well because you don't want anyone well, else getting them attack that i mine mine the ores mine all the ores at your island mainly like the uh diamonds emeralds and health ores if you're not going to rush but if you're going to rush no. just mine the chest and the health ores you know it's pretty fast and you can get all the armors and stuff from the mid mid chest as well. Casual strat, go to the outer islands. I mean, someone's already at the mid islands, so I don't want to go there just yet. You usually want to go there when when they already left or they're probably dead. They're all going to us. This guy wants to kill me. Oh, okay, never mind. Did you just knock them on? I don't have. I, don't <laughs> I got this guy. Oh, we got we got YouTubers in here. That's that's interesting. They're coming. Why are they doing that? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come I on, want the, to clips, kill. the clips, me, the clips, the clips, the clips, let's go. Let's yeah. go. We got the clips. All right, so in this segment, I will be analyzing some of my games. There's going to be one for rush and one for the casual play style so here in the lobby i'm just analyzing the player levels and see if they're moving around a lot there's a guy over there he was kind of going okay, crazy no, 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 no. <laughs> anyways so the game is starting I'm looking at the chest ready to just grab it immediately so i usually grab all the chests first in a rush strat and get the health ores as you can see here, there's an emerald war, so I decided to grab that because it was pretty nearby. I decided to mine the diamond as well because it was, you know, it's just there, sitting there. So I take all the chests, I come up, I grab this emerald war as well because there weren't that many in the first place, so I just decided to take them all. Here I'm sorting my inventory. It takes me a while because I'm really bad at sorting my inventory, but. Eventually, I, I get it done. I throw out all the unnecessary stuff that I don't need. And I just rush mid immediately. So I'm at mid right now. I'm grabbing the chest. There's blocks. And there's snowballs in here, which is very good for combos. I decided to grab one more health orb because I can. I'm missing an absorption heart, so... I see a guy over there, but I don't think he's coming to me, so I grab the chest. Continue looting chests, mine this emerald ore, I'm trying to get a sharp two. There's a guy coming towards me, but he just decides to dip. So I decided to just leave him alone because you usually want your opponents to make the first move. I got kind of spooked here because of the fall damage. <laughs> I thought someone was attacking me or shooting me. High's weird fall damage just really annoying. I see this guy alone and he doesn't really seem to care, but as I'm bridging over he sees me and he just pros over to that island. 
as I'm coming up the stairs, I see this guy trying to get the mystery chest, but apparently he was just waiting for me. But I managed to get him in a really good combo. He places a block that stops my forward movement, and he gets close to an edge, luckily, and I was able to kill him. I head back for the mystery chest, and I'm just looking around as I'm getting the chest to see if anyone's coming up to me. Mystery chest was kind of disappointing, but I got a sharp too, which is what I wanted, so that was good. And now I'm just looking for players to kill. That guy just falls into the void. See the last guy over there. And I'm about to go towards him, but he's just kind of chilling. He's, he doesn't really mind me, so... I'm waiting to see what he's going to do. So I mind oars to keep me busy while I'm watching him to see what he's doing. See him on a bridge over there, but I don't know why I didn't take my chance to knock him off. He's sky basing, which is very annoying, as we're going to see in just a second. Check the death crate, I find a gaffle and some blocks. See, I'm on a bridge, but I missed two of my snowballs, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to hit him off. So here, I'm just also building up. See if I can get on the same level as him, or even higher. I don't want to go too high, as it's gonna make me take damage. And I'm still trying to use any sort of range attack on this guy because I know he's gonna knock me off. I have my pearl ready as I'm taking a big risk bridging towards him so I had to use that emergency pearl and right here I'm, I'm just organizing my inventory as he boom boxes to mid so I decide to bridge over. I don't know why I mined that block it's, it's just a bridge instinct I guess. I think I see him over there. Yep, there he is. I decide to get the mystery chest, because it's just spawned. It's pretty convenient. I get pearls, which was very good for me, as I'll probably use them later. If I hadn't got the pearls there, I wouldn't have rushed him like this. So I decide to rush him. He's kind of like, I don't know. He fights back. Uh, I was managed to get the upper hand, and I won the game. So here I'm going to analyze my gameplay, a casual style of gameplay. Look at the levels, they're pretty low, they're all grey numbers, so I think I got a, you know, like a decent lobby without <laughs> tryhards or sweats. I'm just looking back to see if anyone with the high level joins. Yeah, I have a backwards skin, I don't know, I thought it was funny. Looks like the same map for, as last time. I grab the chest. And I just mine ores. But this time I mine all the ores. Because it's a casual style. And there are like decent amount of ores on my island, so... That was lucky for me. Bridging to the outer islands, I mine the ores. There weren't many ores in the outer islands. There was a lot of health ores, which I didn't need because I got all of it from my spawn island. I see a guy there, so I was trying to get more stuff before rushing him. I got diamond pants. I realized I didn't have arrows. I'm gonna try to bridge towards him, but he notices me. I don't think he had any projectiles, but I was still kind of scared to go on. He's just trying to flex his god bridge or something, and he just falls at the end. And uh, a guy over there also falls. So I go to his island, I see if there's anything, there's any ores that he missed, maybe. But I don't see any, so I go to this island. There's a guy there. So I think I can take him because I have more gear. But it turns out this guy is actually pretty good at comboing. I almost die here, but the pearl comes in handy. And I was able to kill him with the, with the help of Magenta over here. Trying to not get blown off the island. 
and after they both die, loot their death crates. I got some snowballs, some armor, and some arrows. I see no one at mid, so I decided to go there. Because there was a mystery chest as well. I get the mystery chest as I'm looking around for other people. I don't see anybody, and I do get a spell of life, which is pretty useful, and I get some snowballs. And another sharp iron sword. <laughs> I was like, I already have so many, why am I still trying to mine freaking emerald ore? It's pretty useless to me now. And I noticed that these mid chests aren't looted yet, so I was kind of surprised because, you know, I thought someone would have gone to mid already. So I'm just trying to loot all the mid chests now. And I do get some pearls, which will be very useful for clutching or rushing other people. I get a gapple here and fire prop pants. I got more than a stack of snowballs already. So I guess I can just snowball spam people. You know who I'm referring to. <laughs> I see this guy crouching. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to team or something. He's having a hard time comboing him because my aim was just kind of off. <laughs> so I snowball him off the edge. I go to this island. There's this guy here. I don't know what he's doing, he's just spamming poison bombs and he just dies in three hits. Alright, so I see the guy on the next island over there, which is my last guy. I almost, <laughs> I fell into a hole, I thought I was gonna die, because, you know, maybe it's a trap. But I see the guy on the edge of his island, I pro over, and I manage to kill him. <laughs> Poor guy. So with that, we're gonna move on to our next segment, which is specific scenarios. Let's say you're comboing a dude. You just turn around and run. That's how you. That's how you com That's how you get out of combo. That's the simplest way to get out of a combo. But you know, it's sometimes bias not be efficient because maybe the the other guy expected you to turn and run or something, and they they chased after you, and that would not be good because you would be probably permanently locked in a combo if he was chasing and still hitting you in the air. So an alternative strategy would be to place blocks when you're getting comboed. Yep, see, that's how you get out of combo. If you place blocks really fast, then the, the opponent can't really hit you while they're behind blocks. So that will give your opponent, I mean, I guess if you are being comboed, that would give you like a moment to regroup and Try fighting again or just run. This scenario will show you how to identify a trapper. The first sign is when they just hit you and run away. And especially if they're running towards their island for no reason. You want to block the bridge so they can't really escape too far. And if you see them going down to the island or just staying at a stationary spot on their island, it most likely means they're trapping. right at gold they're over here i heard someone breaking blocks are they where are they oh they're in the water oh the trap when you enter a suspicious looking tunnel uh it's probably a trap so it's best to find out where they are before you approach them is that a trap yep that, there's a void <laughs> right there nice Hello! You have a Nemo? No. I'm gonna go one block higher. Oh, they're they out, went they're, out. they're up, they're up. Bro, this guy. This guy's still here. Oh, that guy's still here. I killed him. Wow. This is what you should do when your enemy has a Nemo. Use a cobweb. Cobwebs are very good. Like this, they can't really hit you through the cobwebs. They're just gonna keep trying until they give up and die. 
<laughs> to mid. No, this is. Uh, uh, Let's imagine a realistic I'm... scenario. Someone's chasing you. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh huh. And they die. Yeah. You can watch them slow. Ah! And that's that's why cop whips are very cool. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. So this scenario is when an enemy is chasing you across a bridge and you want to kill him because they probably won't expect it. You would just dig a hole and just block trap him. If someone's chasing you across a bridge, you can just pillar up, stop them from moving, and then go around the side to hit them off. A pretty simple tactic, but it's very effective. This scenario is for when you're chasing someone who's really close to you. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's how you that's how you chase someone who is very close you just chase him he won't have time to turn back and react but if he's no. really far away oh. he's going to uh do something stupid like that <laughs> <laughs> anyways what you want to do make sure block it first so then you can't get out uh-oh and then do that because he's gonna try to bridge. Oh! So you want to just kill him oh, as oh, you get the ch when you get the chance. I dropped my sword. Oh no! I dropped my sword. No. Oh. And I that's how you back. that's how you kill someone. Oh! oh. Okay, I have my sword. Oh, no. That's how you kill someone on a bridge. Use projectiles. <laughs> Don't. Oh. I think clutching in itself is a necessary component to getting good at Sky Wars. Or any other game, really. Clutching requires a fast reaction speed, a set hotkey specifically for clutch items, and practice. These are just some clips of my friend punching me off so I can block or pearl clutch. Note that if you clutch really low, build up immediately as the play area will damage and kill you, especially if you are low on health. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make a clutch montage or something. And with that, enjoy the clutches. That's all for the video. Leave a comment if you feel like there's anything I didn't cover, or if you want me to make a trios or squads version of this video. Leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and thank you for watching.